Now we got all that great strength from our strength phase. So now we're going to start turning that into some power. Again, power is not the same as strength. Strength needs to be developed and so does power separately. So what we're going to do in, in this session is four leg exercises to help you increase your power. So we're going to put them in two circuits again of two exercises each. Mm -hmm. Again, the, the purpose here is to go as fast as you can with good form. Stop the exercise when you fatigue or when your okay. speed slows down. We're going to keep these around 10 to 12 reps max, 30 repetitions at the most of each exercise. That's generally about three, three sets or so. The first exercise we're going to do is banded squats. Before I even start these, I just want to make sure when you do these type of squats that you check the bands and make sure there's no holes or cracks in them. Because it wouldn't be fun if these fell off, if these broke in the middle of it. So always check those first. And these are good strong bands, so we'll be fine. So Chris, go ahead and go under. What he's going to do is come back, keep the chest up, weight on the heels, go down, and then pop up real quick, up and down quick, boom. So what we're trying to develop here is power, so you want to go as quick as you possibly can under control. Good, Chris. So stop as soon as you feel your power start to stop. Perfect. So that's generally around 10 to 12 reps. Okay, good. The second exercise we're going to do is step ups. Step ups I use with the band again so you can go quick and powerful and as, and as quick as you possibly can. So Chris, start with this foot back a little further. Chest up, lean, load the glutes and just go up and down as fast as you can for about 10 reps. All the way up. Come on, straighten up all the way. Three, all the way up. Straighten up your body too at the same time. There you go. Six, there you go. Good. Switch legs. Be careful with the bench. Good. Perfect. Good. With three more reps. Just stop when you feel your power starts to stop. Great. So that's the first circuit. Again, about three sets of 10 to 12 reps of those. Okay, the second two exercises are squat jumps and kettlebell swings. Squat jumps, you know, will give you power in your quads and the kettlebell swings will give you power in the hips. So Chris, let's go uh, first with the dumbbells. We're going to go squat jumps. Again, chest up. It's very important to keep your chest up on this exercise and your back flat. So you absorb and pop right back up. You know, again, as soon as you feel you're starting out, you can't get maximum height anymore, just stop the exercise. You know, it's not an endurance exercise. You don't want to go to the point of complete fatigue. You want to gain power. And again, you want a little more rest in between these exercises. You want to be fresh when you do these. You know, not, yeah. you, don't want, you don't want to be fatigued. So go, now we're going to go kettlebell swings, which is a great exercise to gain hip power and explosiveness. So Chris is going to show good form on this. So he's going to take the kettlebell back. Notice it's a hip exercise, not a squat. So he's hinging here. Squeezing his butt, squeezing his quads at the top, stomach tight, rock solid at the top, shoulders are down. Good, Chris, go ahead and show a wrong version. Like we're, we're at a, see, now he's more of a squat. It's not a squat, it's a hinge. Go ahead and hinge now. Perfect. Okay, good. Okay, put those down. Great, again, this is not an uh, endurance exercise, mm -hmm. so you stop as soon as you feel, just 15, 10 to 12, 15 all out efforts and Cut it out. There you have it. That's the four great power exercises I recommend for legs.